as we now we're gonna start cranking the right motor. As the second motor starts coming online, uh, basically wants you uh, you'll feel the jet kind of bump around a little bit. That's all totally normal. That's just the hydraulic system and everything coming back to life. So be here in a little bit uh, for that. God. After that motor comes online, uh, you're gonna feel we're gonna pressurize the cockpit and turn on like the air conditioning and all of that. So expect that you're probably gonna feel your ears like you're you dive really deep underwater as the cockpit pressurizes. So just a Salva or swallow or I'll kind of like your chewing gum will uh, help clear that. Got ya. Cool, first bump should be here in just a second. There it is. <laughs> Olegio 7, runway 21, taxi via Bravo. Via Bravo, Olegio 7. Alright, as we taxi out here, so the ground basically is going to uh, tell us which direction they want us to go and all that. Let's see here, we'll try to keep our cans clear of everyone, that looks good. Alright, so as we taxi out, uh, so on that HUD display, just again a little refresh. So you should see on your right display, there's a 48 with a box on it, in it, uh, on the left hand side. You see that? Yeah. Cool, so that is our airspeed. So the FAT can't read any lower than uh, 48. Okay. So that's what it's basically going to show us. Are you going to be going, picking up Got it. I'm oh, sorry, you were stepped on by another radio station again for a blade or something. Will this be a VIP uh, flight? Hey, for a VIP flight going out to Whiskey 291, or Christian 289, uh, there'll be RGB in about 45 minutes. Uh, Alright, so, and then below that you see 9G, so that's our ground speed. Uh, so, unique to the Blue Angel jets, uh, where we will get ground speed in the, uh, in the HUD or displayed to us at all times. Uh, below that you'll see Alpha 7.1, not really going to be applicable for you today. Not what you worry about. That G right there, you see it bounce around 1.1, 1.0, 1.9. That's our instantaneous G. Anytime we pull greater than 4 Gs, it's going to record our max G just below that in a line. Once we get airborne, you'll see some of those other things that Sean was showing you. Uh, and that's kind of left side. If you look over on the right side, you see a zero R, so that's our rat out. So he's just saying, hey, we're on, on the deck here, so we're at zero feet R. I can switch it to bear route, and that's what I kind of put in with the weather. Uh, but for our takeoff, we'll uh, put it in there and it'll bounce around. It's got a 10% uh, error associated with that system. That's really kind of on the other side. The rest of the information you really care is uh, there's a velocity vector and all that stuff. It's all repeated in front of me. It's going to show us where we're going and all that. So I can kind of look at that as I look outside. Cool. All right, so the first thing we'll do, we're going to do a high-performance climb. So we'll basically accelerate up on the runway. I'm going to count out the airspeed to you as we accelerate. Around 150 knots or so, we'll go front. Uh, and then from there, uh, once we get to 300, I'm going to ask you if you're ready. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have much option at that point. <laughs> but uh, hey, you're going to give me a, a motivated I'm ready or whatever you want to give us. And then I'm going to give you a ready hit. On the ready hit, that's where we're going to do a little bit of a G-string. So it's going to be a quick 5 to 6 G pull, uh, less than about 4 seconds. So you have enough oxygen in your brain and everything to keep yourself awake, so you're going to be just fine. Got it. Um, but on that one, we can start to practice the initial one before we get out to the area. For that, I think about a beach ball between my legs. So I'm going to squeeze that beach ball, I'm going to push my heels into the ground, I push myself out of the seat, and I'm going to squeeze my glutes together. Uh, you know, or squeeze my butt cheeks together. That's kind of my like, lower lip body. That will engage all those muscles. Then I think for my stomach, I think that uh, about someone punching me in the stomach. So I'm going to tighten up my core, try to leave my shoulders and arms relaxed if I can. If you tighten them up, that's fine. It's not going to hurt you with your G strain maneuver. It's just going to make you tired a little bit quicker. Okay. When we start working on the breath stuff once we get out in the area, think about just uh, go ahead and we're going to take a, a little breath like, hey, I'm going to not try to win a breath holding contest or anything. I'm going to just dive under a pool, take a little breath in, and then I'll make that, or the, as you kind of start to make that case out, you should feel your glottis close in your throat. And that's all it is, and then I'll start counting out. We want to hold that breath for about three seconds, and then we're going to exchange that air. And I'll talk you through all that once we get that one. Okay? Yeah, we'll just have to take off runway 2 one. Uh, don't sit out here. You can actually see out there to the right all those cars in that parking lot. Probably take a bunch of pictures and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. They ever fly the runway the other way? Uh, we will. We can, uh, we'll see what they give us when we come back. Our Blue Angel 7 is take off runway 2-1.
Mark coordinating, we're just kind of keep heading out this direction. All right, so we'll do the two Gs. We're going to go to the, the left first. Uh, again, look outside. I'll say the other thing is uh, for your wrists, if you uh, start feeling uh, a little nauseous, go put your wrist by those. Cool. And you've got 4720. What about the wrist? 4720, Blaine, uh, Put them right by the vents, and that'll get some cold air in your wrist, and that usually makes you feel a little bit better. Got it, got it. All right. Three, three, blah, blah, blah. We're coming left for two Gs here. 2100 maneuvering. So here's 1.8. There's two Gs. So we feel a little bit heavy in our seat, but nothing too crazy. You know, here we can breathe normally. We can look around. We just feel a little bit heavy in our seat. So nothing too, too crazy for you. Again, this is just a look outside. Just feel what two Gs feels like. All right, so that was two Gs. We're rolling out. All right, so for this next one, we'll do three Gs back to the right. So it's three keys back to the right. We're just going to strain our legs a little bit, maybe your stomach, but you can get the practice. All right. Uh, so no breathing is really required on this one. All right. You ready for three keys back to the right? I am. All right. Here we go. Three keys. So tighten those legs a little bit. Squeeze that stomach. Contact. There's three keys. So you feel once you're under G, you have the ability to kind of push against it a little bit. So if you want to push you, you can push against it a little bit as we kind of go. Look outside. You definitely feel heavier as we kind of start this turn. Go cool. rolling out. All right, so that was three Gs. Three Gs, how'd that feel? That is good. All right. You ready to try uh, four Gs? Sure. All right, cool. We're going to go four Gs. We're going to go to the right uh, on this four Gs, and it'll be about 90 degrees. So again, on this one, we'll try that little breath, and then I'll talk, talk you through kind of the breath uh, and breathing portion. All right, Harley, ready for it? I am. All right, here we go. Ready. Here we go. Coming right. Legs. Breath. Nice and hold. All right, exchange your breath. Hold. Another breath. There you go. Nice job. One more breath. All right. Ease and off. We're rolling out. All right. How'd you feel after that four G's? <laughs> it's, it's a workout. Yeah. Be perfect. Yeah. What's the most G's you have pulled? Uh, for me, it has been uh, in an F-18, 7.9 is the most I've ever got. Interesting. Yeah. All right, you want to try six? Sure. All right, cool. We're going to go six and we're going to go back to the left. All right, so you let me know when you're ready. Okay, ready. All right, here we go. Back to the left. Give me a leg. Spread. Here we go. Ready. Hit it. Here we are. Pulling. There's five. Here's six G's. Still holding it. Exchange that breath. There we go. Keep holding. Another breath. All right. He's off. Cool. All right. How do you feel on that six G's? A little winded, but good. I didn't get any, like, yeah, fog out or anything. Yeah, good. That's over to you. If you want to put your seat up more, you can probably put your seat up more, okay? If you want. I'll keep the straight level here for us for a little bit. Number four, two, eight, zero, man. Okay. All right, so we're going to jump into kind of our, the start of our maneuver. So the first one we'll go into uh, is going to be uh, the diamond or the delta roll. This will be a nice low G maneuver, nothing crazy uh, for us. So we'll get down here. Uh, to a little, a little bit lower altitude. We're going to the traffic off the left wing about a mile, 2,000 indicated maneuvering. Three bubble golf track. And I'll try and talk you through, uh, clock left through kind of like what boss would be saying. So while we do this maneuver, just imagine that we got anywhere from three to five airplanes flying on those gold wingtips. So you kind of look out there to the left and the right. Okay. You just kind of imagine now we've got everyone flying for them off of us. So I'll also mimic some of the comm for you uh, as we kind of get down here. All right, so we'll do it, we'll kind of keep it right at about a thousand feet or so. Uh, but obviously in the air show, they're going to do it much lower. Be sure one last for continuing down. All right, so we can smoke on here. All right, so here we are. So the first thing boss will do is he'll give a little up we go. All right, are you ready for it? We're going to roll to the left. Uh -huh. All right, up we go. He'll start this nice pull right here. Then pass through about 15, he'll go, okay. And we're going to start a nice roll. So now just imagine again, we've got uh, people flying from us. As we roll over, you can see our shadow out there on the water. Look over to the right there. Oh, yeah. oh the smokes are pretty cool. And we'll kind of come out of that turn. Cool, so now you imagine anywhere from three to five women flying from us while we're doing that. So yeah. pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, it puts it in a whole yeah. new perspective. All right, so for this next one, what we'll do is we'll do a seven to do a coach right here, Chase. Quick, seven to cut you out of here. Approach, 
Seven, get your last clear out of here, Zero Zero Seven, have you descend? All right, so the next one we're going to do is a wing over. So this is kind of what we'll teach the flight school students. Again, keeping it nice and low G, and we're going to make this turn so you're going to be staying below 8,000. I'll just keep you for now. You know, until we know what your plan is. Yeah, I can keep it below 8,000 and just stay with you if that guy's working. That works. All right, so we'll go up to the right. Here we go. And this is kind of a maneuver we'll teach the flight school students early on in flight school just to kind of, uh, you know, get them used to fly the jet. So we're going to start a nice easy turn to the right. We'll roll through 90 degrees. Probably get a little weightless, just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. You kind of walk out eventually over here. Way over our right shoulder. You can see our smoke trail as to where we started. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Right, sure. We'll kind of start rolling out. All right, so the next maneuver, if you're ready for it, once we get down here, we'll get a little faster. As we accelerate this one, we'll go into our, uh, our loop. So this one's going to be about four Gs on the initial pull-up. And then from there, we'll intercept a alpha as we kind of come over the top. And for Julie, you should find it in the local area. We'll get us back down here. Off the L25, 155, and up to R2508. Okay, so we're looking for Julie Roger. What else are you looking for? Two up there, please. All right. You let me know when you're ready for it. Ready. All right, here we go. Ready, hit it. Legs. Just give it a nice little squeeze. There's four Gs. Just kind of keep that squeeze going. We're going to intercept. Okay. Right. Our eight alpha. Keep that pull coming. There's eight alpha. We're going to ease off just a little bit. Here we are through pure burger. Look outside. You can pick up our smoke trail. Pick us out over there. Gotta keep this pull coming. We're gonna fly right back down through that. Alright, he's coming back on. Squeeze those legs for me. There we go. We're easing off. You can ease those legs out. Nice job with the loop. How's that one feel? It's good. I got a little fog on it. Yeah. Slightly. Alright, well, uh, for the next one, what we can do is we sort of do a half cuban eight. So, the diamond will do this on their first takeoff maneuver you'll see. is They're basically going to loop uh, a half cuban eight, which we'll do, and then they're going to go right into the loop with, uh, as long as they got the weather for it. Okay. So, this will be kind of the same thing on that initial pull. Alright, you let me know when you're ready. Ready. Alright, here we go. Ready, hit it. Here we go. There's four G's. Keep those legs nice and squeezed. Now I'm gonna hold this one. Or keep squeezing. Those stomach and legs. Don't have breath for you. We're easing off now, so you should be good. We'll keep it under two G's to remain us. Look way out there, you can see kind of where we started. Gotta pull back down. We're gonna get a slight pause. We're gonna roll to the right. Oh, sweet. Cool. And we just change out 180 degrees without any travel left or right. I'm gonna try one, two, point two. Of course, that's a half cube and so you'll basically see the diamond will do that right off takeoff uh, with all of them. It's pretty cool, and then they'll go right into a loop after that. It's a nice maneuver. Awesome, so that's kind of some of the, uh, the lower G stuff. Over to you if you want to try some of the higher G stuff. We can do uh, some of the solo maneuvers. You just let me know this. Uh, the first one will be the min radius turn, which will be about a six and a half G pull, and then maintain about five the rest of the way around uh, for that one. Okay, you want to give it a shot? Yeah, let me catch my breath. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll kind of cruise around here for a little bit. Definitely a workout, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Incredible. There's no way to explain it to anybody. Oh, sorry, so was that for really just a perfect day, too? It really is. Okay. All right, we're going to keep this turn coming around. We're going to turn around the other direction. Uh, and then basically what's going to be is a left-hand turn. And this is simulating the, ma uh, the maximum performance turn rate of the F-18. So we're going to get the most degrees per second. So this is what we would use if we were, like, dogfighting another airplane. Got it. Uh, and it's basically going to get our nose around the quickest. So we're going to roll out uh, to point it directly back towards Point Magoo. 
at those islands there, that uh, Channel Islands, I believe it is, off right off to our left. Yeah, yeah. We're accelerated up to 350. Uh, I think I heard November 758, Mike, in Quebec. Alright, here we are, like right at 350. Now this, Harley, you ready for it? Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. Ready, hit it. Nice legs, breath. Here comes the initial pull. Keep that breath. This is checking for you at your 11 o'clock miles, 1,974 Mario Skyhawk. Almost done. All right, there we are. Rolling out, you can ease those legs. How you doing after that one? Good. A little bit tiring, that was a long one, huh? Yeah, that's good though. Nice. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Better with my legs yeah. back in front. Good. Yeah, once you can get on top of it, that's uh, under one, three, five, five, yeah. kind of the best best part, uh, part of it, so it'll help you out. Cool. All right, if you want, we can try the next one. is going to be these deep to vertical rolls. This will be what number six or sometimes number five will do during the air show. Okay. Uh, it'll probably be about a seven, uh, 7 7.3, 7.5 G pull. Okay, to the vertical. Then we'll start a series of uh, vertical rolls. Probably only get one since we're going to be capped at 8,000. And then we'll uh, we'll kind of uh, terminate the maneuver from there. Okay. You want to give it a shot? Sure. All right, cool. I'm going to turn us around, point us back out towards the uh, ocean. We'll get down to 500 feet. We'll accelerate up to point, uh, point 0.95 mark. So again, this one I'll give you the ready hit it on there. It's like that leg's breath. And that'll help you uh, get on top. And if you've seen... Once you get on top of it, it's a little bit easier. When you're playing catch up, then it gets much more difficult. All right, here we are rolling out. Oh, we'll go ahead and accelerate up. Here's Max AB. There's Mach point eight. Point eight five. We're gonna come out of burner. There's point nine one. Point nine two. All right, Harley, you ready for it? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'll get us a little smoke on. All right, here we go. Ready, hit it. And coming out of it. Nice job. 7.4 Gs. Oh. Oh, a little tiring on that one, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I promise you, that's all the high G stuff. So, we're good on all the high G. You already hit 7.4, so that's no joke. Yeah, I yeah. almost went. <laughs> well, you did. You stuck with me. So, nice job. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, some of the other things we can do here, uh, we can do... Basically, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to some zero-G flight. So, this one I'll kind of climb us back down. All day today, for a minute of it, I'll let you know anytime we're going to pull over three Gs. So that way you'll have a heads up if you need to strain or anything, all right? Okay? Cool. So this one again, just going to be zero-G, so we just experienced 7.4. So now we're going to kind of see what it's like to be weightless. We'll kind of climb down here a little bit so we can get a little bit of altitude to work with. It'll be a nice easy 2G pull up, and then we'll push back over. All right. Here comes a nice two easy 2G pull. Deep out request in the airspace again. Full call sign up request. All right, you ready to feel weightless? Uh-huh. Here we go. Push it over. There's zero, oh, there's zero G right there. So you feel you should be floating in your seat. Just like we were astronauts in outer space right now. Check for you. Should cover the clock about three miles, 1,400. So pretty nuts how you just kind of float around in the airplane. Oh, yeah. Cool, here comes a little bit of positive G as we slowly recover from that one. Nice, so definitely a little bit different uh, feel there. Cool. So the next thing we can do, we can do some uh, inverted flight. I'll get us turned back around here. Coming easy left. So for 
this one, you can just expect uh, just double check that your waist straps probably about as tight as Sean can get it for you. Uh, uh, double check that mine is nice and tight. And then just double check you don't have anything uh, for free in the cockpit because it will all come over to the top of the canopy. Okay. All right. So here's a nice two easy 2G turn around here. We'll get the inverted fuel pumps are on. We're six from the Gulf. The uh, tower is requesting you proceed inbound via the Santa Coy Bridge and contact Cameron Tower 128.2. Okay, so we're going to go roll out here. We'll give ourselves, if you want to ready for it, we'll give ourselves about oh, 30 seconds or so of inverted flight. So it may be uncomfortable. If it gets uncomfortable, you just let me know. We can roll out of it at any moment. Okay? All right, you ready for it? Uh huh. All right, here we go. Roll it to the left. Here comes the push. There it is. There's negative one G. So now just look outside. Bad George is flying for him now as well. So kind of look over to the left. Look over to the right. Imagine airplanes are flying on either side of our wing. Comes a little push out. There's 20 seconds. It feels like we've been upside down forever though, huh? Yeah. Pretty crazy. All right, here's 30 seconds. Ready? Roll it back to the left. All right. How you doing now? Good. Still good? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's see. We're going to start working ourselves away from everyone. Okay, we're 30 miles off the coast, so that's good. All right, so there's a couple things that we have left to do. We can do some rolls, and then we're going to do some uh, slow flight. i show you that. So we're going to kind of head this way. I'll speed up for you. We'll see if we can uh, get ourselves to go technically supersonic. All right, here we go. There's Max AB. There's point nine five, point nine six, point nine eight. And, oh, there's one point oh. Boom. So therefore, you now have gone faster than the speed of sound. You can feel how the jet just wants to go ahead and uh, does not like to go that fast, but it can. Cool. So now we've done that. I'm going to show you. We'll climb up. And we're going to do a slow flight. So I give easy uh, 2G turns to kind of the left and the right. And so now we went super fast, and now you'll see us going super slow. So again, you'll see this one in the uh, air show as well. This will be 5 and 6 will fly form together while they're going to super slow. So this is one of the things that make the uh, Super Hornet special, uh, is our ability to fly very slow. Here we are, pointing back towards Point Magoo. We're slowing through 200 miles. Just have extra contact, come on, tell 12.2. There's 180, we'll bring the pre brakes in. We'll kick the smoke on. Number six, five, six, As we got it, oh, here you have to pick it up. There's 150. 140. Loser, actually, you're going to be number two behind. 130. Uh, lane. Just at the total clock. 120. And you're getting 100. All right, we'll set it right here. This is how slow the solos will fly right there. If you look kind of in your mirror, you should be able to pick up the smoke directly behind us. Oh, yeah. So, that's the, that's kind of that. We'll turn the inverted fuel pumps on. We'll do the uh, six clear. All right, so this is what they do. They'll kind of hang out like this. Broken. I'll show you here. We can control the jet very easily. So instead of using the stick now, I'm actually using uh, the rudders. Yep. So here we are. So you can see, pretty easy for me to kind of control the airplane as we kind of fly around here. So we went from uh, super fast, and now we're going super slow, 100 knots uh, across the ground. All right, so we'll do, I'll show you here. We have the wave off capability. So here's Max AB. And we're actually now climbing. So we are, we're going to roll to the left. You'll see number six do this in the flight. Hitting zero five zero. And he'll kind of push here for a second. And then he'll roll out of it. Able, I'm not able to turn on the... Is there red off? On the CNI screen? All right. Cool. So that's kind of that slow speed flight that we just saw. So kind of the last thing that they'll uh, show you in the uh, air show is a series of horizontal rolls. So we have the option, we can do one, two, or three, so it's over to you, I'll let you pick. 
Uh, I'm up to three. Alright, cool, we'll do three. And you want to go to the left or to the right? Uh, you're pick. Alright, I'll pick left because the Navy likes to turn left. Alright, so we'll kind of get down here. Get up to 400 knots. Alright, see we are right at 400 knots. Alright, Harley, you ready for this one? Uh huh. Alright, here we go. Pulling up just a little bit. Rolling to the left. Here we go. There's one. There's two. And here comes the third one. And stop it. Woo! <laughs> Your brain kind of gets used to that spinning and then all of a sudden it stops. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. So we'll kind of fly straight level here for just a little bit. I'm going to start an easy left hand turn. Just got to keep us uh, right around these islands. Okay. Uh, for that. Cool. And over to you, if you want to uh, take out your cell phone, take some pictures and everything, uh, we can kind of keep it nice and, uh, and white for right now. We've got about like five minutes or so, and then we'll start heading back towards the field. Uh, I didn't bring it. Oh, you didn't? No. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to, I'll try and get a couple photos of my phone. How about that? And I'll send them to you. Perfect. All right, let's see. Let me in. Oh, come on, camera. All right, let's see. Oh, you gotta look out the left side there. I don't know if you can see it, is it actually showing you? Uh -huh. Alright, there's a couple photos. That's the, I'll do my best. If you want to put your seat up a little bit, I may be able to get a better uh, picture. Alright, let's see. Well, I'm not very flexible in this flight suit. Where is that? Alright, ready. Does that look good? Uh -huh. Alright. Cool, I'll just double check and look at those real quick. Awesome. They got a couple in here for you. I'll see how the other ones turned out. Sweet. Alright, so I got a couple photos for you, so uh, that won't be... We can definitely prove it on top of the video. Cool. Well... So those are kind of big things we've shown you, everything from the air show. Is there anything crazy that you want to see that we haven't done? I don't think sure. so. Okay. Yeah, I think we did a good amount. The two Delta Whiskey River contact just north of Camarillo Airport. Alright, well, I'm going to grab the weather back at, uh, at Point McGill. Okay, and then we're, uh, we'll uh, slowly start making our way back that direction. Okay. Or keep this, uh, sea level pressure one eight five. Runway 2, 1 short field gear to your rig and long field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, so one to the short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 1 short field gear rigging and battery. Runway 2, 
And it's really, a, it's, when you talk about dogfighting, it's really now, it's like all a geometry game. Uh-huh. Uh, so we just kind of look at the geometry. So that's where we did the min radius turn, or sorry, the maximum rate turn. Uh -huh. That's getting us the most degrees per second. So that's really a thrust to weight ratio uh, kind of style thing. And then from there, that's going to be basically if you're trying to, try to turn around each other, who can turn their nose, either their nose around the, the fastest. Yeah. Whereas if you go uh, with a turn radius or our slow flying, that's now, hey, I'm gonna, we're going to try to turn into each other. And imagine we're, like, we're fighting towards a, a wall, and whoever gets that wall first is going to lose. So our ability to kind of just slow down and make really tight turns uh, helps us out uh, tremendously in that ability. Got it. Yeah, the G's are no joke. Yeah. Zero two five four four seven two one. Wait, is that four seven two one? I got four four three two one zero two Papa only for four seven two one. Not sure if anybody else got that. Number four two echo contact zero call approach one three eight point seven five. All right, so as we head back, we got kind of two different ways we can land. Uh, so we can land like an airliner coming for the straight in, or we can land like a, like a fighter jet uh, going back to the aircraft carrier. I'm assuming you want to do the, uh, the fighter jet option. Yes. All right, cool. So now we can tailor that one, too. So it's over to you. We can try and uh, we can hit 7 Gs again. We can keep it anywhere from 2 to 7 Gs. Uh, if you want to go somewhere middle of the road, uh, back to like that six G's where we probably feel a little more comfortable, we can do that as well. Uh, yeah, let's do the six G's. All right, cool, we'll do six G's. Again, I'll talk you through it. Um, but basically, we can imagine, so normally at the aircraft carrier, we would be overhead the boat, and we'd be kind of uh, in a holding pattern, kind of like I just sort of spinning overhead. Uh, so you can imagine we're just in left-hand turns, and we'd be stacked anywhere from 2,000 feet above the boat to about uh, 4,000 feet. You'll have everyone will share kind of an altitude. Too busy doing these circles over the boat, watching, waiting for the boat to be ready to recover us. Once they do that, we basically descend down and we'd be into this overhead maneuver uh, that we're going to go through. Okay. So for this, you can basically expect we're going to come in over top of the runway, anywhere from 600 to 800 feet. We're going to start either a left or right hand turn. Runway 2 1, they may make us do a right hand turn. At the aircraft carrier, we'd always do a left hand turn. Um, so now you've got 7 4 o'clock, 5 knots, stop down, 3 knots, 7 knots, indicated. And it brings them in a climb. Okay, sorry, I'm just listening to the traffic. Uh, and then from there, we're, we're going to be about that 400 miles an hour or so. We're going to start that left or right hand turn. That's going to help us at 6 Gs. We're going to bleed off that airspeed pretty quickly by uh, bringing our throttles back to idle. Okay. Um, so as that kind of happens, you know, we'll kind of do all of our techniques that we're doing. And we're going to try to hit a good beam distance or, you know, where we want to be next to the boat. From then, we'll just start a nice, easy descent as we start to turn around. And I'll tell you everything that I'd be looking at for the boat and what would be happening uh, kind of as we'd be going through that process. Here there is, so we don't have the same lens that we have on the boat at the field, uh, but we do have uh, the carrier boxes actually painted on the runway. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, we're going to put um, a blue angel to the center of contact with your tower. Oh, we're switch it down. Thanks for the help. You have a great weekend. You too. I'll see you in a little bit. The new tower, plane just 7, uh, 12 miles to the uh, south for the overhead runway 21. It's crazy how much you sweat doing it. Right? The so angle 7, the new tower, roger the uh, overhead runway 21. Uh, the initial flux only 3.5 northeast of the field report initial. Blade up. And Blade 7 coming over for a carrier break. So, this is your first time at Magoo? Uh, it is, yeah. So, we came here for a winter visit uh, back in. Oh, uh, when was that? Uh, Mid-January? The other time. The time able to accept uh, overhead runway 3. Hey, Perp, we can do runway 3. All right, so they changed it, so we're going to be runway 3. Yeah, so first time really here, first time. Cool, seven degree tower right here. Blitz 7 degree runway 3. Hey, Perp, we're able to accept runway 3. Blue Angel 7, Roger, report initial for runway 3. That's what they said. Blue Angel 7, fly heading 360, traffic 1.
Watch, if you kind of look out there to our left, ooh, about 11 to 10 o'clock, you can see the runway kind of going away from us. So we simulate we just came out of Marshall, or out of the, uh, the overhead over the boat. Uh, I actually haven't landed runway three here yet, so I don't know if there's a carrier box there, but if there is, I'll point it out to you. Seven, uh, caution, runway three, short field gears, bridge approximately 2,500 feet. Ready for a Wait, just have a copy, engine. Five mile initial runway three. Clearing seven, roger, left brake crew, break out to 700 feet. Wait, seven, request air. Wait, seven, carry brake crew. Wait, seven. All right, so here we are. We'll turn our smoke on. We're coming down, we're accelerating up. We'll kind of take it down by the hangar so everyone can see. All right, so we are at 400 miles. There is no carrier box painted on this end, so we won't be able to see that, but that's all right. I'll still talk you through everything as if we uh, did have it. All right, so there, everyone is down to the right. You ready for it, Harley? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready, hit it. Coming left. There you go. Another breath. All right, rolling out. Keep those legs nice and tight for me. There we go. Perfect. Nice job. Thank you. So we have seven check roof down runway three. What did we get on that one? Seven. Uh, we actually got up to about seven. Perfect. Quit the seven uh, gear transit. Clear to land runway three. Yeah, so nice job. Stick with me there. Quit the three. I want all right, so here we are, we have the beam right to the ship. So normally we turn at the ship, we're going to extend a little bit because obviously the runway is not moving away from us. All right, so this will work out just about right. We'll start this turn. So here we are trying to slow to on-speed AOA. Be right around 136 knots or so. We'll trim up to 8.1. So in the Navy, we'll find on-speed AOA approach, which basically uh, controls that hook point. That way we can get a touchdown here as long as we want. So we're looking for about 500 feet of the 90. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, so I'd be out here. We're looking out to the ship again. The so next checkpoint is the uh, 130, or sorry, the 45. So we're a little bit tight, so we'll kind of roll out, take a little bit of angle back. Coming back in that turn now. Now we're over 370. So that looks pretty good for me for 370. So I like it. Again, probably a little bit tight on the turn. We'll roll out a little bit. Here we are as we roll out here. Uh, we'd say our side number, Rhino Ball, and then our fuel stage, 6 1. And we kind of roll out right about here. At this point now, we'd just be uh, flying the Fresnel lens all the way to touchdown and listening to the uh, LSOs that would be uh, on the back of the boat. There it is. There's an old carrier box painted out there, but uh, tough to see. Cool. Boom. Nice. And that's it. So, unlike the Air Force, we don't flare. We just kind of slide on that. Yeah, just kind of nice controlled crash onto the runway. <laughs> Cool, you can save your seat. So we're into 7, turn to right, taxi wave, Bravo 2, contact, uh, actually remain my frequency, turn right, taxi wave, Bravo 2. Got to be right on Bravo 2, and we'll stay with you, Blaine 7. All right, you can save your seat if you haven't already. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, no worries, you're good. Hey, we're good. Awesome. Cool, I'm gonna unstrap myself. If you want, uh, Sean's gonna come help you and he'll help you get out of the airplane as well. Okay. Uh, with everything, so you can kind of expect that. Um, and then just realize once you get out of the airplane, you probably may be, like you probably feel pretty good right now. Yeah. Just realize once you stand up, uh, sometimes you do get kind of dizzy again. Uh, so just make sure you got a good points of contact as you get down. And again, Sean will, uh, will help you uh, get out of the airplane to make sure that, uh, that you're all settled. I'm uh, proud of getting down still. So. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I thought it was a good ride. Oh, it was awesome. We did everything. I know. You absolutely, you absolutely crushed it, so nice job. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is the main goal. Yeah. Try not to let the genetics down. No, no. Uh, you're, would be very, your father would be very proud. Thank so, you. Awesome, awesome job. Thank you. Uh, it, is, it is no joke pulling 7.4 Gs without a G suit. Yeah, uh, you know, I got... Um, some fog going on it, and I was thinking, well, this might be yeah. it never You happened. fought through. You fought through. Yeah, it was good. Never give up. Exactly.
picture how much. So, Alright, so as we shut down here, basically again the same thing, you expect uh, that we're, uh, the canopy's gonna come up once uh, Sean kind of steps over the side and gives me the, uh, the karate chop. Uh, and then the canopy's gonna come up and then I'll plan on just uh, seeing you on the outside. We'll get some pictures. Uh, we'll get your family over here and everything. It'll be, uh, be nice. Awesome. Thank you again. Yeah, no, thank you. It, it, was, uh, it was a true pleasure. You're going to feel cockpit pressurization is going to go away. You're going to hear a couple other details while I turn off a couple other systems. And uh, that being said, that is, should be all of it. All right. All right, I'll see you outside. Nice job. It was an absolute pleasure. All right. Thank you so all much. Right. See ya. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> Runway 21, short field gear, rigged and in battery. Oh my Our god. Our uh, de rigged, and then uh, long field gear for 21 is rigged. Yeah, that's freaking gnarly. Yeah, that's freaking gnarly. Now I see why they look the way they do. Paper. Thank you. 